guys and welcome back to Make Up My World. Since it's still the holiday weekend, I wanted to share with you guys one last Christmas video and it's what I got for Christmas. So I'm gonna go through all of the gifts that my family and friends gave to me, but really I just wanna share with you guys what I received from my loved ones. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing is my family does white elephant every year and we do kind of like a pile of gifts in the middle and then everybody has a number. You go in numerical order, you get a gift, you get to steal the gift a couple of times. If you if you see somebody else's that you like, it's, it's such a great game and it's a great tradition that our family has. So what I ended up with from the white elephant is this bad boy right here. It is Darth Vader and it is a gumball dispenser. I also got an Xbox gift card with it, but that went really quickly to my nephew, but I absolutely love Star Wars. All of my family and friends know this about me. And when you press the little button here, Darth Vader actually will start going and making his little breathing sound and then a gumball will come out here, so. I love it. So this is definitely one of my favorite gifts and I don't know who bought it for the white elephant but whoever did get it I'm really happy with my new little buddy. So the next item is actually a home decor item. It is this crate tray thingy. My brother knows that I absolutely love Paris and I like things that are like a little rustic and homey looking. So he found this crate and he actually wrapped up the whole thing and put presents inside for me and wrapped each one individually so I'd have to really work for my presents. But I absolutely love the, the crate that he put a lot of thought into knowing how I am and giving me all my presents of this crate. It's really cute and I love like the, the stamping on the side of it. Inside of that crate, one of my presents for my brother was this steamer. He knows that I'm trying to watch what I eat and he wanted to make things a little bit easier for me when I prep my food. So he thought that a little steamer, a uh, personal size steamer would be perfect for me, which I completely agree with. So I can't wait to make my first, you know, steamed broccoli or steamed vegetables in this. So I'm really grateful that he thought about that in my resolutions for the new year. The next item he got me is this little bottle opener and it's not so much for the bottle opener part, it's that we are both big USC fans and this one combines two of my favorite things. It's USC and Star Wars. So it says Trojan Empire on one side and play like a Jedi on the other side. So you have a rebel side and an empire side and it is perfect because you have Darth on one side and you have Yoda in the middle of the D of the Jedi and it's so cute. I love that I'll go be able to go tailgating with this and use the little bottle opener to help some people out. So this is an awesome a little stocking stuffer. So my brother knows on top of Star Wars I also have a really sweet tooth. He got me a pack of Star Wars Jelly Bellies. So it has seven different flavors in it like uh, sparkling blueberry, sparkling sour apple, island punch, I love Jelly Bellies and I like the sweet ones especially. I think it's a really cute candy and I will debate whether or not I open it or save it to become a collector's item. So we'll see. The last thing that my brother got me and I'm very, very spoiled by him is the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay Palette. I will be sharing a look using this palette with you guys very, very soon. I really did use a lot of restraint in this last month and no, did not go out and buy this for myself because I wanted to make sure if my family members did want to go and get me something from Sephora or Ulta that there were items out there that I didn't buy for myself. So my brother went to Sephora, waited in line to find this palette. He only knew what this one thing was. The guy that helped him helped him out. He thought my brother possibly wore makeup himself. It was hilarious, but he went through a lot of trouble <laughs> to get me this palette and I'm forever grateful that he knows me so well that he knew that I would love 
to have this for my Christmas presents. So I'm really grateful to him. So my next item is from my cousin and she knows as well how much of a makeup junkie I am. So she is extremely obsessed with lips and highlighting right now. She got me the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and this is in the shade Rose Gold. It is this beautiful rose gold highlighter. Can you see how shimmery that highlighter is? It's amazing. I'm gonna swirl just a little bit, see if I can, if it shows up on me. Oh my gosh, that's so super pretty. I'm gonna end up having so much highlighter on me. Oh yeah, look at how pretty that is. That just catches the light, and for as dark as I am, it's really hard to find a highlighter that doesn't look like gold or shimmer or sh some sort of glitter powder on me. This just, oh, it's so pretty. It's so, it makes your skin feel so soft. I am really excited to work this into my looks and I'm so grateful to my cousin for getting this for me. So the next item is from my grandma and she got me the Petty Perfect by, I think it's Amope, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's one of those callus or dry skin removers that rotate and it has a really rough uh, texture on the little roller thing and it automatically rotates and takes off all the dry skin and stuff. And I've actually been eyeing this thing forever and I thought, oh, it's way too expensive for me to buy just for something to, you know, make my feet softer. So when I opened it from her, I was so extremely surprised and happy and I cannot wait to use this. So I got a little pedicure tool. Next up from my sister, I got a Dragonfly Tea Infuser. I love tea, absolutely, positively obsessed with it. And I also love dragonflies, so this is so pretty. It's a delicate little dragonfly that hangs out of your cup, and then it has the tea ball infuser that you can put your loose tea leaves in. This is really pretty. I cannot wait to have my first cup of tea in this. And then on top of that, she got me a little dish and it uh, has the Eiffel Tower on it and it's gold plated because again, my family knows that I love Paris. I can't wait to go there one day. And this is one of those like dishes where you can put your jewelry or your keys or your chains. So I'm gonna actually put this in my living room so I can put my loose change or things from my pocket in it on a daily basis and you know, like have it right there so it's not all a mess. I just thought this was really pretty. And then on top of that, she too got me some Star Wars Jelly Bellies. This one's Yoda, who's my favorite. And finally, she got me a gift card from Ulta because like I was saying before with my brother, he was kind of lucky that I hadn't gone out and bought the Gwen Stefani palette myself. My sister has no idea. She doesn't live near me. She has no idea what I have in my makeup stash, so she was really kind to get me a gift card to Ulta. I will probably be online in a few minutes to see what I can spend this on, so thank you so much, sis. From my auntie and uncle, I got an Olive Garden gift card along with a bottle of wine, which I am so happy with. Thank you so much, you guys. I will definitely be partaking of some salad and breadsticks really soon. From my bestie in Montana and her family, I got this cute little Montana State cutout. It's a little wood plaque. On it, it has a little cowgirl and it says, Last Best Place, which it totally is. It's an amazing place just to decompress and have calm and quiet. I absolutely love visiting there. And it has the little magnet on the back so I can hang it up on my refrigerator. In addition, they also got me some Montana Flathead Cherry Gummy Bears, which is gonna be so yummy. And then finally, my best friend is obsessed with Etsy, and she found this place that makes these canvas totes. I mean, it's a really substantial tote. I mean, it's bigger than a shopping bag. I absolutely use these every single day, and I think I'm gonna probably put my knitting in this because I've been back getting back into knitting, like making scarves and stuff like that during the winter, and I wanted something to put it in. So whenever I, you know, am not quite finished and I want to kind of put it down, put it somewhere or take it with me. And it has really nice long handles, so it can go on my shoulder without you know, like being one of those uncomfortable purses. And it's a nice wide strap and it has the cutest saying on it and it says enjoy the little things and it has a little dragonfly which she knows is my 
absolute favorite. So thank you to all of my Montana family. And finally, from my mom and dad, I got quite a few things. I got this little brush cleaner for my makeup brushes. It actually goes on a couple of fingers. So when you're washing your brushes, you can put the soap right here, rub your brush right against it to get it nice and clean. And this, this is gonna make it so much easier because I typically wash my brushes in my hand and it's a nice silicone with the little nubbies on it. So this is just the perfect size, knowing I can go ahead and take a brush and just go right into it clean it and be done the next present that my parents got me is actually this brush dryer and it's actually three pieces of acrylic that go together like a little jigsaw puzzle and when you put them together it has a little silicone grid at the top that you can hang your brushes in once you've washed them so you just put the brush right there into the little slot after it's washed and then it just hangs dry right there on the table and it holds quite a few brushes there's different sizes and I just love that this will literally free up my tabletop when I'm doing my brush washing and also it's just really good for your brushes to get the water going down and away from the ferrule rather than getting that water up in the ferrule and really eating and damaging the glue that's holding your bristles in place so having this brush dryer is going to be a godsend thank you mom and dad the next item my mom got me is a book it was in my stocking I am so grateful because I devour books I'm one of those people who can read a book in a week and knowing that I have one on standby is so makes me so happy this is by um, Debbie McComber it's called the Manning sisters and it's actually based in Montana which my mom knows I absolutely love romance novels and I love cowboys so it's a good combination for me so one of the other presents that my parents gave me is this workout shirt right here it is a kind of like a thermal um, undershirt or like a, com a compression shirt it's got this really cute design here it's charcoal gray with the scoop neck and then it has hot pink cuffs on the sleeves with the little thumb hole right here I absolutely love this for the gym it's just a really cute kind of neutral workout shirt and then with a little pop of color which actually also protects your hands and keeps them nice and toasty if you're running outside so I really love this and I can't wait to wear this to the gym tomorrow and finally my parents got me new makeup organizing drawers they're these acrylic drawers that have four different drawers to them that are separated there's a thin drawer a middle kind of inch and a half drawer a two inch drawer and then a really deep like three and a half inch drawer and it's perfect because I have acrylic drawers all across my my vanity area and I wanted to reorganize things because I have too much stuff here and just not enough room not enough organization for it so they were really kind to get me two sets so I can organize all my lipstick and my eye products and I'm so very grateful I love these so much they're really well made and they're just gonna make my life so much easier if you guys are looking for these type of acrylic organizers you can definitely find them on eBay and Amazon they come in all types of configurations and these just fit perfectly with the ones that I already have so thank you so much I am so appreciative mom and dad so those are all of my Christmas presents for this year I am so super grateful to my family and friends for one knowing me so well to be getting me things that I absolutely love and will enjoy for years to come and in addition just for getting me something at all they didn't have to and to know that they went out and actually put some thought and you know got me a gift at all is just something that I'm so blessed to have I have an amazing family and an amazing group of friends and I appreciate them so much and I hope that they know how much I love them and enjoyed the gifts that I gave them as well so for all of you guys out there I wish you guys a happy holidays I hope you had a Merry Christmas and I'm hoping that you guys are ready to celebrate a fantastic new year full of all types of possibilities I really wanted to thank you guys for your gift of subscribing to my channel 
over the last few months, I've really tried to be more committed to posting on a regular basis and coming up with different ideas, different concepts, and I'm going to be bringing you guys a whole bunch of new content in the new year. I've got a lot of plans that I think are pretty cool. So I hope you guys stick with me. If there's ever any type of video idea that you guys have or something you'd like me to check out, I'd appreciate it if you leave me a comment below. If you guys like this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, be kind to yourself, be kind to one another, and don't ever be afraid to be your perfectly imperfect you. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Click on the video above to get another glimpse into my world. And don't forget to visit my website MakeupMyWorld.com for more details on me and the products reviewed here today. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My details are below. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.